Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Python and how you can update a document inside the Mongo by using the Mongo engine OM. I have already the code here, you can see I have connected to my database and inside here I have created my document already uh, from the previous video. I will use this as example so we save a little bit of time so you don't see the boring stuff every time. If you want uh, explanation about how you can uh, create your own documents in the OM, then you can see my videos about uh, how to create a, a new document in Mongo with the Mongo engine. And of course you are very welcome to subscribe to this channel. You can do it with the thing below in the right corner and then you will get the new videos from me. So now we are ready to, to the next step here. And when we have connected, I will just uh, demonstrate that we are connected and everything is fine. And inside the Mongo we have our two databases, uh, our single database project one and every data we have here from the previous video. The point here is we want to update something. So what you need to do is say the user, that's the object we want to work with. And then we say user and what we want now is just to find an object. Normally when you work with the Mongo you will use find one or find and in the Mongo engine here you need to type object. Why? I really don't know. I will. I think that's a very misleading word, but let's work with that. That's how it's working. And then we need to say test at user.com. I think that's my right user. Test.email. And the again, testemail.com. Yes. That's the object you want. And what we want to do now is uh, to update it. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is to, you, you go into the database and found an object where you match uh, the email here. And then you want to update it. But what should we update? We want to say first name. And then we say equal to uh, new Paris. Let's just do this. And then we can say update here and everything is perfect. So if I update the, this document now, it should be new Paris and we have it here. If, if you have a big uh, tree you want to update, let's say you don't know about the user have updating the first name and the last name and you only want to send inside what has have been changed and that's make very good uh, uh, reason about you do this. So, you can uh, you can do that. Just say to this is static uh, params uh, field of data, and then we say here dynamic params field of data. I have a spelling word here. Let's Google that and see how. Yep, I have found the word. The right word is spelling a little bit different. Dynamic params fields up there, yes. And then we have the fields. And now I use a, a directory. And I just say first name is equal to uh, second to test. And then we say last name, uh, first, last. Uh, name and what we want now it's I will say the user two because then it's much easier for me to demonstrate what's happening and the only thing you need to do now is just say user two update and then say double star and then the fields that's meaning you take all the keys here from the directory and pass it down with the value like uh, it, it will be like first name and then the second test and then the last name, the first last name test. And that's what we want. So let's test it out and do it here. I will go back for the database here and you can see we still have uh, the user email. That's not what I'm expected. Oh, of course, of course. I forgot to say test two here. And then we are back, new Paris and second test and first name. And let's go up here to say 
last name. And then run again. And then you should be back here. Yes. So that's how we can update a single document in uh, in Mongo. And of course, if you have more uh, document, then this will be something other code. So thank you so much for see this video. I really hope you enjoy. I will try to push more videos about Mongo Engine. So stay updated with my channel to subscribe to this channel. Go in the right corner and press on the thing. And remember, all my code here is free and can be found on my GitHub. And you're very, very welcome to uh, follow me on the GitHub too, so you can get more updates when I do something stuff on GitHub. Thank you so much, and remember to smash the comments. I almost forgot that word. If you have any feedback on questions, I'll be appreciate to answer you as fast as I can. And like this video, and remember to share it with your friends. Bye-bye.